What a joke. He's the Harvey Weinstein of the office, is he? Hello there, it is I, the Geordie Nerd, and I am back again with another episode of The Office US, Season 2, Episode 14. Um, these are a nightmare to um, get approved. They really are. So I'm going to try some new tactics to get them up, um, because I really love the show, and a lot of people do enjoy the reactions, but I'm still trying. The only thing I can recommend is going over to the Patreon. It is really cheap. It is a pound a month. And that is it. And then you get full unedited reactions. But if, if you can't do that, that's fine. Uh, I'll try my best to get what out, get out what I can. Uh, enough waffling. Let's just get in this now and have some fun. What? Oh, nothing. Jim's been looking at me kind of a lot all week. I would be creeped out by it, but it's nothing compared to the way Michael looks at me. <laughs> that's totally normal man what are you talking about so uh michael's a bit of a creep um but i mean that's that that's obvious but he's he's a harmless creep but i mean he's not but i mean he's not gonna like pounce on you do you know he doesn't have a van with a mattress in the back is what i'm saying he probably doesn't i'm like 70 percent sure what it what is that oh i don't know is that a bird I don't think it's a bird. Oh, God. Someone took a dump in his, How, in his office. Could, right in the middle of the carpet. What's going on? Um, Somebody vomited yeah. right in the middle of the carpet in my office. I don't think that's vomit. Check it out. Me? Check it out. Don't be a wuss. Just get known. Don't be a wuss, says the person who won't go in himself. <laughs> He's locked him in there. Here she comes. All clean? Great. <sighs> Still stinky. <laughs> she probably scrubbed it into the fibers of the carpet. Total permeation. I am a big Fear Factor fan. Um, I'm a big fan of anything Joe Rogan does, actually. So this is sort of like my audition tape. Everyone talks about Joe Rogan. I have no idea who he is or what he does. Fear Factor, I'm guessing. Hey, Jim. I thought that we would be desk buddies while they changed my carpet. That might be a little difficult with the one computer. Oh, but there's this... definitely a desk open in the back. Yeah. Which I guess I'll be taking. No, no, no. Seriously, I don't mind sharing. No, no, no. Seriously, I'll be in the back. I'd prefer to be in the back when, if I was wearing a job like that because then nobody can see you. You know, I used to sit right here no way yeah and who had your office ed truck Ugh. ed truck was the manager before me horrible he hated fun <laughs> it was like oh ed truck is walking toward us stop having fun i love the hair packer and i once spent a whole day with our pants off and when people noticed, we convinced them that they were crazy. I would gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. Excuse me one second, please. What is it that you need right now that can't wait until I'm off the phone with a customer? Ooh, a customer. <laughs> well, sound the alarm. Stanley's my spirit animal. It's just no nonsense, isn't he? Once, as a joke, Packer banged every chick in the office. This is hysterical. <laughs> what a joke. He's the Harvey Weinstein of the office, is he? Let's end up a count. Old-fashioned raid sales on account. Yeah, follow my lead. Hey guys. Hey Michael. <coughs> What's up? Hey Dwight. No! <laughs> <laughs> Michael is an absolute knob, isn't he? Why would somebody ruin a perfectly good carpet? I don't know. The question you need to be asking is, why is somebody shitting in your office? It could be done out of love. Yeah, because that's what you're, yeah, people are like, oh, just give them a love dump. <laughs> Come on, Michael. Oh, yeah. Read it and weep. 
Oh, oh, look at that. Look at me, Phyllis. Oh, what is that? That's my sale. Mm, 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 mm. So he's a competent salesman. Why doesn't he just stop acting like a buffoon? Somebody did something bad to Michael's carpet. Maybe that's all we need to know. No, I need to know who it is. I'm sorry, but I do. This was no act of God. A person did this. A person who works in this office. Maybe all of them. Yeah, because God came down, birthed the brownie, and then left. Why would it be an act of God? I think that picking today was sort of taken advantage. But you're the one who picked today. I am a victim of a hate crime. Stanley knows what I'm talking about. That's not what a hate crime <laughs> is. Well, I hated it. <laughs> Someone dropped a Bronto neck in his office, okay? Just tell him I'm like up for anything. I mean, I'm not a slut, but who knows? What's wrong with that? That's, that's not a problem. Why would it be? As long as it's for one person. Or multiple if you're Polly. You, you just live your life. I'm not the boss. Somebody did something in my office and I now think that they did it on purpose and it was directed at me. Well, what was done? I didn't get a good look at it, but it smells horrible yeah somebody once did that in my office really yeah. well that figures so <laughs> you can love a boss like you do a father i'm not sure that ever happens well okay different management styles why can't your workers be your workers family be your family your friends be your friends last week i would have given a kidney because he hasn't got any friends or family this is uh, Jim Halpert from The Boat, and I got your number from the corporate directory, and well, I was assuming that you probably gave it to them because you wanted me to ask you out, right? Um, so give me a call back. You can get my number from said directory, um, or just check your email, because I just sent you one. I mean, this is definitely a rebound thing, isn't it? Ask a girl out on the phone. You got him to ask a boy out for you. Your mom, you gay nerd. Oh my god. <laughs> Packer. Packster. Wacky Pack, how you doing? Hey, listen, did you get that package I left for you? Uh, no. Did anybody see a package here today? He's talking about the dookie. Guys, did you see a big package in my office? You mean the thing? Are you kidding me? Oh, that was Packer. Oh. So now all of a sudden it's okay for someone to drop one in your office? Oh my God, it was Packer. It takes an advanced sense of humor. I don't expect everybody to understand. It was done out of love, just like I thought. Yeah, a love dump, of course. I mean, I suppose there is people who are into that. So yeah, there is such a thing. I'm just gonna stop talking about poo. Dunder Mifflin, this is Pam. Hold, please. Dunder Mifflin, this is... Okay, sorry. Michael was standing at my desk and I needed to be busy or who knows what would have happened, so thank you. Hey, I have a chance to sneak out of here early and I'm not messing this up, so I'll see you tomorrow. Calling from my cell phone. I don't know if you guys figured out who did that to Michael's carpet yet, but I have a theory that involves an interdepartmental conspiracy. Everybody in the office. We need to talk. I mean, that that is lovely, isn't it? It is. I mean, he wasn't there the whole time and he thought she was just getting on with that day and forgot about him. And she left him all those messages. How how lovely. How lovely. Um, yeah, this was a good episode. I thought it was going to be that alcoholic lady with the ginger hair. I forgot her name. Who flashed him in the previous Christmas episode. But uh, it turns out it was Packard dropping the kids off at the pool. Um, <laughs> gross. But yeah, uh, thank you for coming out to watch these. I do appreciate if you're seeing this on YouTube. I managed to get it out. Yay. Uh, so yeah, um, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all again very soon for more The Office reaction videos.